Alright guys, this is Nojo1099, wanted to bring you this, uh, a new, you guys a new video on, you know, Discord. So, as you see, 2,744 views, 8 likes and 8 dislikes. Um, you know, as you can see, 39 subscribers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this helps you, you probably want to see more because I'm updating you on other things in Discord. So I've had some uh, comments about, you know, remaking the. I should remake the video, or if people couldn't hear me. There's a lot of stuff that I saw down there. So I decided today we'll go ahead and hit. Oh, okay, we'll um, you know, work on this right now. So we do what we're gonna be. What I do, I'm gonna do, be doing bunch of different things and it's going to be some from the last video so let's get right into it sorry I uh, you know messed up with talking um, so the create instant invite is so you can add someone to a group you send them the link all right so if someone's having a hard time I, as you can tell you can just go to that video and show them that but before you want to do this anytime you see right here see where this thing's moving around you hit never and that will keep it from expiring or if you want it to be for one day I don't know why you'd want that I mean it depends you can add it for 30 minutes 6 hours or one day and that what that means is that you can um, it will the person can only be in there for that long And same for the max uses. So I thought that just expired like you couldn't use that link after. But it turns out that when we tried that once, I didn't click that. And it doesn't, it didn't expire um, after you, I hit never. Um, and you keep it on no limit because you can use it over and over again. But if you put it on how many of these uses, then that person only use it once um, and if you set temporary membership obviously it's basically like doing that and they can't they won't be in it um, in the group for that long so you hit this and it says copy to clipboard so basically it's just um, you know you hit that wherever it doesn't matter if you hit the arrow or that it copies it All right so when you do that you're gonna go back here and you're going to go to the circle right here, with the plus in it. And you're just going to hold down on your screen until it says paste. So you're going to click paste, and it's going to do that. And you can do join, which I'm not going to do because I don't need to. Or you can make your own server, as down below. Uh, but that's different. I'm not going to go through that because I don't need to. Um, but basically, I made a Farming Simulator 17 one for my brother and I when we played. Um... So, you know, you have all the different things. When you do that, you can slide over on the screen, as I can't really right now, or you can hit your back button if you're on an Android device. So you just click, you know, anywhere on the screen. Um, so the next thing, so I don't have much time to say all this, you have all these different things here. And these are all your friends and whoever. Shows who's online. The pending friend requests, or someone wanting to um, add you as a friend suggestions you know find someone that you might want to have um, you know as a friend in there and blocking people but when you're gonna add someone I'm gonna go back to this you have to do you have to enter their name their discord name and their tag. No spaces in between the tag and the name. Um, if if I'm wrong, I don't remember exactly. Haven't added many people recently. Um, there could be a space in between. If it doesn't work for you, add a space in between the... You do need the number, the hashtag thing, in front of the code. It's a four-digit number, or four-digit uh, four code. And... That will 
add the person to your friends. Um, so basically that's some of the basics. And so when you, if you join a um, group, usually you'll have an admin and a few other people to work with it. And as you see, we have these here. And you have voice channels or the chat, like typing, texting. So the thing is, you can connect to the voice. It used to be you just click on it and you connect right away. But you do connect voice. And it has everything down below. As you see, I'm connected. Because I'm recording with something, it's recording my voice and not this. So it would usually pop up about right there. And it shows where everyone else is talking in the group. And if you hit disconnect, it disconnects you from the voice chat. You go to voice settings and you have all the different things you need. Uh, you know, volume, uh, the voice cancellation, the echo to get rid of all that, and all those settings. You guys can go ahead and check those out because I don't have the time to put this all on a video. But if you need help with that, comment down below on the video about what you need help with. Um, so really guys, that's just about it. Um, and yeah, so if you guys need any more help, comment down below and tell me if this helped you. If you can't hear me, please comment about that too. I have my mic like right up against my face. I don't know if this is too loud, but uh, again, please subscribe, like the video and comment for more help. Um, Thanks guys for watching. Peace out. See you guys next time.